Do you know why we're sitting here today? Um, because you wanted to talk to me about something. Right. Do you know about what? Okay. Do you know how humans are made? Water. Humans are made of water. Okay. Uh, do you know where babies come from? From God. God? Yeah. God, um, sends the babies down into your stomach to be born. Okay. Do you know what makes me a woman and Dad a man? Uh, Daddy has bigger hands than you. Okay. When two adults want to have a baby, they have to have sex. And the woman's egg joins with the man's sperm to make a baby. That's weird. So, do you know where the baby comes out from? Out of your butt. <laughs> your butt? No. It comes out of the vagina. Ew. <laughs> and that's how babies are made. Ugh. So baby, give me that. And let me get you that. Running her hands through my fro. Bouncing on 24. Why they say I'm ready? It's the remix to ignition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama ruling that body. The creation of life is a complex process, a process that begins when the sperm meets the egg. Sperm must only travel six inches towards the uterus once inside. They contain a tail called flagellum that propels them towards the egg. Millions of sperm will die on their way. Only about 200 will make the journey. Once there, they will release digestive enzymes to break down the egg's barrier. After the sperm has entered, it will be able to begin fertilization. When they get together, the egg develops a protective shell around it, called the zona, to keep other sperm out. The egg completes meiosis and expels half of its chromosomes into a polar body. The sperm then releases its 23 chromosomes into the egg. The fertilized egg, now known as a zygote, develops in the fallopian tubes for the first three days and travels down into the uterus. After about five to seven days, it will become a blastocyst, a hollow ball of cells surrounding a cyst-like cavity. The blastocyst then breaks free from the zona and it is ready to adhere to the blood-rich lining of the mother's uterus. Eventually, the mother will notice. body carries the same 46 chromosomes consisting of all the same genes so how is it possible that all these cells have different functions the cells have different variations of genes that are turned on which encode for proteins that affect cell function so in a developing embryo how does each cell know which genes to express in order to produce the right proteins Katie location correct Cells know their placement and interact with the surrounding cells. Chemical messages stimulate these other cells and tell them which genes to turn on and off. Molecules that affect gene expression play a key role in determining the sex of the child, which could be as soon as 16 weeks. They start off with two gonads, which can either become testicles or ovaries. One pair of chromosomes determines gender, XX for female or XY for male. There are two ducts, Malarian and Wolfian, and depending on the chromosomes, a cascade of reactions will inhibit the formation of the opposing re reproductive system. The fetus grows almost 400 times larger and prepares for birth. This demands a constant supply of nutrients via the placenta. Baby's need for fat becomes so great, the mother can't keep up. If it stays inside, the baby will begin to starve, so it has to get out. Oh my god, my water just broke. Your service is about 
three centimeters dilated right now, so you're now entering the active labor phase. It could be a few hours before you're fully dilated and ready to give birth. The nurse here will check on you every hour. So hang in there. <laughs> nurse! Nurse! Is everything all right? No. Somebody pitch back the hats. The baby's crowning. She's ready to give birth. Start pushing now. Okay. <laughs>